We are born with the tendencies and we are born into tendencies, isn't it? I have come into this world with my tendencies. Then I see you, a cinema star, going in a beautiful Cadillac with three girls all around you. I saw a successful doctor or a successful uncle of mine is an engineer. Then I feel a contagion. I would like to be like him. Then temporarily you will say, I want to become an engineer or a doctor or a sin master. Your own dharma, you have got an inclination for poetry, for art maybe, for drawing or painting, whatever it is. But you saw something and fascinated. You go through it. A third-rate man alone you can become in that field. Because it is a new tendency in you. Why? Your own tendency struggles hard to express. Learn to understand your tendency and develop in that line. Sky is the limit of your achievement. This in educational field today only Russia is following. From the from the early classroom onwards, they watch what the children are doing and it's all reported. So in the early stage when you are playing with toys, at the age of three or four, the teachers watch. And in your card is that you have been playing always with soldiers. That was your game. Now you went on and on. By the time you come to the high school and you want to enter college, you demand that I want to join the medical college. Everybody's files are there, therefore his file is called for. And we find that even he was unmolested by anything, his natural inclination was for arranging the soldiers and warfare. That boy, I am told, will not be allowed to go to medical college. The government decides for him. Go to the military college. You may say that his freedom is abstracted, but look at their history. In 50 years' time, all the great scientists and thinkers of the Peter's time has been all annihilated and cut down. What is left over was shaggy. Poor landless farmers and laborers, starving laborers. Out of them in 50, 60 years time, what a rich crop of great scientists have come who can really compete with a civilization of materialism or science that have developed in 200 years. Is it not something surprising? You know, why I am saying this is to show that the truthfulness and veracity of this great statement. Unfortunately, there is no method by which we can know what are the right inclinations. But if you understand that your child has got inclination for music, please teach him music. Don't say that, no, no, music has no future in this country. It is all engineering. I am an engineer, therefore my son also must be engineer. Don't do that. The fellow may pass engineering, he may get a job also, he will some other do, but he is all his idea is music. So even while working, he will say, oh, third rate music. Because he doesn't know how to bring out the music also, because he never got a time to train themselves. Then he comes home and he starts slowly learning music and he goes into the basement. To the calamity of the children and the wife, they can't stand his off note singing, but he enjoys that third rate songs, cursing for himself that I never got a chance to learn music all the time. Who chose it? No, no, that is because another uncle told me to engineering and I took engineering and I, you know, I want classical music, but now too late to learn it. My throat will not bend and <laughs> it happens. That is how the retired people become homeopaths. <laughs> Retired people, have you seen? 
lawyers and judges and school teachers and all that to retire. Then they become homeopaths. And then you know, homeopathy, oh, the way they enjoy that, the way they remember all the patients and what medicine he gave and what was the condition in which he came and how he went away happy and all that. Such a satisfaction. The poor man's life is impoverished because he took the wrong decision. Had he been a doctor or a homeopath or at least, a, I mean homeopath or an allopath, his life would have been richer. I'm not talking in terms of money, in terms of his own satisfaction, sense of fulfillment. 